Now, dear student, let's go to the question number 11. It says that the displacement y of the particle executing a certain periodic motion is given by relation y is equal to 4 cos square t by 2 sin of 1000 t. This expression may be considered to be the superposition of n independent harmonic motion. Then what is the value of n? Now, dear student, we have to remember this that cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos of double of angle divided by 2. This concept will be used. So, I write that equation of y is equal to 4 and cos square theta would be written as 1 plus cos of double of angle, double of this is this, divided by 2 and this multiplied by sin of 1000 t. Now, so y become equal to 2, 1 plus cos of t into sin of 1000 t. So, I write 2 is outside and this becomes sin of 1000 t plus 2 sin of 1000 t and cos of t. And now, dear student, this is 2 sin theta cos theta and again we use the formula 2 sin theta cos theta 2 sin of this would be equal to sin of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 and cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2. The formula will be used. So, I write this is equal to 2 sin of 1000 t and this become equal to the sum of two equations. So, this is sin of 1000 1t and cos of 999t. So, this become equal to the sum of the three terms, one second or third. So, the equation is combination of three harmonic equations. So, the correct option is answer number two. The question number 12 is a particle which is executing a linear simple harmonic motion has an amplitude equal to 4 cm. It is observed that when the displacement of the particle from the mean position is 2 cm, the speed of the particle is equal to 4 cm per second. The angular frequency of the oscillation of the system is. Now, dear student, in SHM, the velocity of the particle is omega root of a square minus x square. Now, it is given that the velocity of particle is 4 cm per second at x equal to 2 cm where amplitude is equal to 4. So, that is equal to 4 square minus 2 square root. So, that is equal to omega into root of 12. So, 4 divided by root of 12 is equal to omega and I write that omega is equal to 4 divided by 2 root 3. So, it is 2 by root 3 and omega is in radian per second. So, the correct option is the option number 4. Now, the question number 13 is a particle performs simple harmonic motion with the time period of 0.2 second. If the amplitude of oscillation is 10 centimeter and the particle start from the mean position, then the average velocity particle in first 0.1 second. Now, dear student, the time period is 0.2 second and you have to find the average velocity in 0.1 second. Right? Look at the motion. The particle start from here. It is moved to this. It takes T by 4 time to reach here and in next T by 4 time it is here. And look at this one. 0.1 second is basically this much of time. So, in 0.1 second the particle is back at the same location then the displacement of the particle become equal to 0. And once the displacement is 0, then average velocity is displacement by time and that is coming to be 0. So, the correct option is answer number 4 to this question. The question number 14 is the amplitude of oscillation of particle whose motion is represented by the equation x is equal to 4 sin of omega t minus 3 cos of omega t. Uh, this is little bit of max mathematics. If x is equal to 4 sin of omega t minus 3 cos of omega of t. We have to make this equation like x is equal to a sin of omega t plus minus certain angle. 
Now, how is done? This amplitude is generally, we take that multiply and divide by this quantity and this quantity. Then x become equal to 4 square plus 3 square root. And then within the bracket is 4 over 4 square plus 3 square. And sine of omega t minus 3 divided by 4 square plus 3 square into cos of omega t. And this value is basically equal to 5. So x is equal to 5 and bracket 4 by 5 sin omega t and 3 by 5 cos of omega t. And we make the choice. This is sin a cos b cos a sin b. So I write that cos of phi is equal to 4 by 5 and sin of phi is equal to 3 by 5. So if we do this one, then x is equal to 5 sin of omega t into cos of phi and cos of omega t into sin of phi. And this become equal to 5 sin of omega t minus phi. I can find phi from here by dividing the tan phi is equal to 3 by 4 or phi is equal to 37 degree. You can change to phase. But the interest was the, the amplitude and the amplitude of this equation is 5. Therefore, answer to this question is option number 4. The question number 15 is two particles each performing their respective simple harmonic motion with the same amplitude along the same line. Start their motion from the common mean position in opposite direction. If the frequency of their oscillation of one particle is 2 hertz and that of other is 4 hertz, then the time after which they will cross each other. Now, dear student, you have to take the relative. One is moving toward this and second in this direction. So, let's take the relative. So, relative angular velocity will be the added up omega 1 plus m omega 2 and the time of meeting will be in opposite direction the phase angle will be one time period divided by omega relative and that is equal to 2 pi divided by omega 1 plus omega 2 and 2 pi and 2 pi I take out n 1 plus m 2 and that is equal to the time after they will meet again and I will fill up the values and n1 is given 2 and n2 is given 4. So, the time will be 1 by 6 second. And the option 2 is 1 by 6 second. To answer to this question is option 2.